Hey guys, I'm Carolina Vanetti with Red Carpet Report at the annual Actors Fund Tony's Viewing Party. Hi Lisa, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. You look fantastic. Thank you. Well, you know what, when you come to a big Tony event, you bring out the bling, you bring out the girls, you bring out the fabulous. Bring out the girls, we're twinning. Right, exactly, because you know, there's nothing, I, I'm from, well I grew up in DC, but my parents are both from New York, I lived there 10 years. I'm from New York. Yeah, so you know, my, entree into loving performing, loving acting, was going to Broadway shows. And it was always an event. You know, when I came to the theater here the first time, I saw a man in shorts and flip-flops. I said, how dare you, sir? How dare you? You have to get dressed up when you go to the theater. Absolutely. It's something that's definitely ingrained in every New Yorker. You dress up for the theater. You dress for the theater. Mm -hmm. Well, I love that you've gone to theater your whole life because my biggest question of the evening has been what what is your favorite performance that you've seen as an audience member? You know, I've been super lucky. I've seen some iconic performances over the years. I'm thinking Colm Wilkinson in Les Mis was one of them. I'm thinking... I'd have to say, uh, I would have to say Evita. I'd have to say Patti Lapone is Evita. I mean, truly, it was, you just sat there and it was like, and not just because I'm a Sicilian diva too, but you would sit there and that power of the voice and the performance would like blow your hair back. You just were, you just sat there the whole time just going, like that. And it was, it was pretty awesome. That's a wonderful story. What is your favorite um, acting memory as an actor that you have? What's your favorite memory you would like to share? Well, I have, I have one, and it's a very small part, but it was a great time in War of the Worlds when I did a, a scene with my own daughter where, at the end of it, we don't make it. Uh, spoiler alert, we don't make it. And I did it, and it was spot on. And from a boat in the middle of the Hudson River in 20 degrees below zero weather, Steven Spielberg yelled, perfect take, Lisa, perfect, cut, print, moving on. And I went, oh my God, Steven Spielberg just said, perfect take, Lisa, perfect. <laughs> Like, he reiterated it. So that was pretty good. But also, I would say, after two days of filming a scene in The Parent Trap, where I find out that the one twin is the other twin, and I was using my own having to go on the road as a stand-up and as an actress when my baby was little. I was using that in the work, so I was really emotional every single take. By the end of two days, I didn't know what I was doing. Dennis Quaid leaned over down on the chair and said, I think you're doing a magnificent job because at that point I didn't know if I could even act anymore and uh, I finished the last of 72 takes on that scene and the, uh, the crew burst into applause that's what that's such a wonderful feeling congratulations in shall we dance there's a moment where Jennifer Lopez is showing Richard Gere how to rumba and she uses me as kind of her dummy and she's spinning me around and finally she throws me down on the floor and it, I knew it was funny so I made the sound really hard and kind of went Oof! I oofed. And I could hear the crew stifle. I could hear them, you know. <laughs> and when I stood up, they all burst out laughing because they were holding it in. And those moments are great because the crews are so hardened and they've seen everything. So when you get them, it's, it's really special. But I have to say, truly, every time I've ever been on stage live, when I did musicals, which is what I first got paid for when I was a kid, and I made an audience laugh or made them cry, and I shared that experience with them, or as a stand-up, the same thing, every single one of those moments is special. It's why I wanted to do this. Awesome. Do you have any advice you would like to leave with young actors wanting to get into the business? Yes. Work hard, study, take every opportunity, don't let fear hold you back because the only thing that is stopping you is you deciding, I can't do that. There is no reason not to take every piece of you. I had a coach at Arena Stage when I was working at Arena Stage said, because I was doing a drama. And they said, where's that funny girl who came in first day and had everybody laughing at her ass and how big it was? And I said, but this is drama. I'm doing, I'm doing Streetcar Named Desire. He said, you're sexy. You're funny. Use it. Always. And look, the, the, the ass became popular. It caught up. 
You panning down? There it is. Thank you. All of a sudden, the world caught up to the ass being sexy. But I would say use every piece of you always. Don't dim your own light. And, oh, golly, what's the other? And just wait. Sometimes your time is not now. But if you keep working, eventually you will work. Eventually. Character actresses work till they die. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And for more videos, make sure to subscribe below. And let me know in the comments what your favorite musical is. Mine is Les Mis.